primitive wrapper classes. Java provides wrapper classes for all the primitive data types in order to provide some useful methods that involve primitive data. Because when you create a variable using a primitive data type, the variable just holds that one specific value and there's no methods that you can call on a variable. Only objects have methods. So Java has these wrapper classes such as character, integer, double, boolean, and long. And you can call static methods where you can pass in primitive data to it and it'll return some value. And we're going to look at a few examples. Primitive wrapper objects and also string objects are immutable. That means that the methods cannot change the object's data. So let's take a look at wrapper classes and also learn what immutable means as well. In class wrapper demo, let's explore some primitive wrapper classes and methods that are available. And before we do that, let's explain what immutable means. So if you had a string called name that was set to James, and I print out name by calling the to uppercase method on that string object, it'll print out James in all capital letters. But this method call right here, to uppercase, see what it does when I put it by itself and then try to print out name. You'll see that James still prints out in all lowercase letters because this method does not actually change the string. Strings are immutable, meaning that the methods don't affect that object. So what I need to do is reassign name to name.toUppercase to get it to actually change the string. If you want to work with strings and prefer to use mutable methods that do change the value of the strings, then consider using the string builder class rather than string. So now that we know what immutable means, let's take a look at some character wrapper classes. And one of them is integer. Let's start with that one. So all we could you gotta do is just say integer dot and then you could see a list of all the methods that we have available. One of them is max. So let's see what that does. Let's print out system out dot print line integer dot max and it tells you from the Java API that it returns the greater of two values A and B. So it's called max pass A is 10, B will be 15. This should print out the larger of the two, or the max. And you'll see that 15 gets printed out. What if you had a string called um, numString and its value is 5? So you can't do any kind of math with this numString object because it's a string. You can't say numString plus plus you get an error because you can't just add one to a string. So we have to convert that string to an integer first in order for this to work. So let's create an integer called num and we'll assign it to integer using the integer wrapper class dot parse int and we'll pass in the num string to it and it'll actually take that string five and convert it to an integer five and just to make sure that it works we can say num plus plus and that'll add one to it giving you six let's print out num and we should get six there it is there's also a double dot parse double to convert a, a string and that's in the form of a double to an actual double as well you could try that out yourself and let's mess around with the character wrapper class so let's say we have a character, char, some char, and let's set it to A. And because it's a char, it needs single quotes around it. And let's see what we could do with that char. So let's do a system dot out dot print line character dot is and look at that, there's is digit. Let's check if it's a digit. Is A a digit? True or false? So let's see what this prints out. False. And you, if you hover the mouse over it, it tells you that it returns a boolean. That's why we're getting false as the output. Right there, boolean. And it takes a char as char variable as a parameter. Let's try something else. Copy this. Instead of is digit, how about is letter? Is that some char a letter? True, it is a letter. A is a letter, but it's not a digit. 
And what else can we do? Let's try character dot two. And this also has its own two uppercase method where we can pass in some char and it'll make it an uppercase A. So there's integer, we talked about double, character, and all these uppercase primitive type words are called wrapper classes. And you could always refer to the Java API to get a full list of all the methods and a description of what those methods do.